Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the inflection points of a parabola. So before we talk about inflection point, it's helpful to discuss the concept of concavity. Roughly speaking, a graph is said to be concave up if it opens upwards or if the tangent line to the graph fall below the graph. Similarly, a graph is said to be concave down if it opens downwards or if the tangent lines lie above the rest of the graph. An inflection point is a point at which the concavity of a graph changes. So for example, right here we have an inflection point where it changes from concave down to concave up. And our question is, how do we determine the inflection points of a parabola? Well, in general, the way to determine an inflection point is to look at the second derivative of a function and see where that changes sign. So let's look at a general parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's take the first derivative of this. y prime equals 2ax plus b. And then the second derivative. y prime equals 2a. So our question is, when does this change sign from positive to negative? Well, the answer is it never changes sign because this is just a constant. It doesn't matter what your constant is. It could be positive, negative, or zero. This will always be a constant. So the answer is, for a parabola of this form, there are no inflection points. And this result should agree with our intuitive notion of what a parabola looks like. It starts at a vertex and either continues going upwards or continues going downwards in both directions. And its concavity never changes. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to determine the inflection points of a parabola.